In this video, I'll show you how to integrate Stripe account with your lead pages. So what I've done here, I've already selected a template. Which the template I selected was a course funnel checkout template, and I just created a lead page a landing page here with the same name, just so I know that I've used that template. So this is just for demonstration. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. So this is how the template looks. I haven't changed anything. Once you click over here in the green button, then since I don't have my Stripe uh, account connected as yet, so it gives me a message, which is really nice. So now I can say connect Stripe account and then click on connect my Stripe account. And it's done. I believe it's done. And let's just see. Okay, wow. So I did create a product inside my Stripe account. So it automatically looks at this. By the way, I think that the reason it automatically uh, selected to connect my account and I did it because I'm already logged in into my Stripe account. So it gives you a skew. I don't have added any skews to your product yet. Add a skew to be able to sell your product. Okay, so that's nice. Let's just see if it's going to. Wow, so it takes me to my Stripe account since I'm already logged in. So it takes me to the right page. And I actually didn't know this, so this is good. So let's see that I add a skew here. Uh, for an image, because I already had an image inserted for this product, so this is cool. And this item is available for purchase. And the purchase price, I was wondering about this, so this is really nice. This is a surprise that Lead Pages is leading me to set this up correctly, which because I'm using Stripe for the very first time. So it's, it's really nice to see this. Now, uh, ID, let's see, what is it? If an ID isn't provided, we'll generate one for you. Hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, this one is drip email template. I'm going to just say it's the so short form of drip email template. And I've been using 01 just to identify this is my first drip email template. So, and I don't need to, none of this applies. And then I'm going to say add SKU. Oops, what is this? Quantity required. Oh. Oh, I could just say, I see, sorry. Um, so it's infinite quantity, that's nice. I can sell as many as I want. So add SKU. Nice. So I got that SKU now with that pricing. Very nice. So let's go back to lead pages. Okay, so I'm back in lead pages and now let's just see, let's refresh it. Let's see if it does show up. Not finding what you're looking for, try refreshing. Okay, so let's refresh this. And let's select this product. Wow, skew, oops. Nice, very nice. So look at this. Wow, it automatically puts this product with the price right inside this form. Very nice. This is so cool. So for uh, the next step is the integrations. And for integration right now, I don't have any campaign or workflow designed for this product yet. So I'm gonna just leave it alone for now. But 
if you have uh, the campaign or workflow, then you can add uh, Drip or any other account uh, that you want to use for integration. And next fields is the email, billing information, shipping information. They're all showing the lock. That means they're locked and you can't delete them. And in my case, this is a digital product, so there is no shipping required. So what I need to do is that if I click on it, it says these fields are locked because you're selling a shippable product. There are no settings available for this field. So I'm going to go back into my Stripe account and uncheck the shippable uh, option. I believe there was one. I saw that. I didn't know any better. So I checked that or kept it the default. So I need to uncheck that so that I can remove it because that's may that may impact my conversion so I want to minimize the number of fields for people to fill out so and then so the next follow-up I haven't created a, a thank you page I intend to create a thank you page and then I can just simply send user to another URL instead of default purchase uh, thank you page so and then you would save and close and then you publish uh, except obviously then you're going to change a bunch of things here uh, so I'll come back and uh, change this page uh, for my product